Hello everyone, this is Alberto Corona with Greenetworks.com and today we're going to be showing you how to create a customer on the Proofpoint Essentials page. Essentially, Proofpoint is used to manage email filtering for their customers. You can also do things like email encryption, URL defense, and then there's also an emergency inbox in case they server is, there is a server issue with your email. They also provide antivirus and anti-spam filtering. So there's a lot you can do on here, and so in order to do that, we're going to want to create customers. So we're going to go over here to Customer Management and hit Customers. Next, we're going to go to Add a Customer. And here we can begin adding a customer. We can go ahead and pick an organization. We're going to go ahead and select Email Security. We'll do the beginner choice. And we'll only do one license for this video. There we go. We're going to hit next. For this company name, we're just going to make a fictitious name. We're going to go ahead and start with, I don't know, um, we'll do Bob's Burgers. The street name, we'll go ahead and keep it as 123 Seattle Ave. We'll say it's in Seattle. go ahead and add a fake number and a, make a fake website go ahead and hit next this is where we want to set up the domain name we're gonna go ahead and have it be Bob's Berg Seattle we're going to make sure it has, says .com. We're going to add our first name and our last name. And there we go. It shows that it has our first dot last name at bobsburgseattle.com. We're going to want to make sure that we send a welcome email to ensure the user knows. There's the summary of the information. We're going to accept the EULA. We're going to go ahead and hit purchase. And there it is. We want to ignore this for now. We can go ahead and verify this domain later. We're going to go ahead and hit later. And there is all the information regarding Bob's Burger. We can go ahead and change things if you'd like. But we're just going to go ahead and go back. Up here is known as the breadcrumb. And basically this is where we can either go back to where we were with Rain Networks. Or we can go back to, to where Bob's Burger was. We're just going to go back to our Rain Networks information. And now we're back at the dash dashboard. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. And we'll see you guys next time.